everyone, welcome to Mary's Make Shop. Today I'm gonna to be doing a tool change mid cut with a auto zero. If you're confused of how we got to this point, definitely check out my playlist, part zeros and tool changes with Centroid Acorn CNC. This is the third video of that series and I'll show you exactly how to set up until you got to this part um, where we are right now. So we're gonna start this job, this frame um, that I talk about in part one. You can see a really nice uh, graphical display of that in uh, CNC 12. So I'm actually gonna do a feed hold quick because I forgot to put the vacuum on. Once the vacuum's on, just gonna hit uh, start again. So this is a half inch straight flute cutter, which will be cutting some local walnut. And it's just gonna be cutting a nice uh, rounded frame. And in my tool path, I actually have a tool change uh, after it's milled out the frame and switch over to a quarter inch corner round tool, um, which will just give those edges uh, a really nice rounded corner. So I'm going to change out my straight flute for my quarter inch corner round tool quick. And I actually didn't have to change out the collet because the shanks were the same diameter. So that's nice for me. So once I've tightened those up, um, you can see that blue corner round tool. Just going to hit cycle start. And then it's going to pop up. Would you like to reset the current Z0 position? I'm going to say 1 because I do want to auto reset it. It's going to give you a nice um, description there of what you're supposed to do. Put clip on cutter and then jog the cutter over to the top of the tool touch off. So I'm going to put this clip on the other side so you guys can kind of see what's going on. So once you have the clip on, make sure the wires are out of the way. Um, you're going to jog over to a place on your workpiece that hasn't been cut. Place that tool touch off there. Uh, make sure it's level. And then you're just going to jog over top of it. And once you're there, you're just going to hit start. And that's going to automatically go down until it touches that tool plate and then it'll set that as its new zero position. So there it goes, and you'll see in my second video that I actually measured the height of the tool touch off so it knows exactly where the uh, surface of your workpiece is. So you remove the cut cutter, turn on your spindle, and hit start. It's really as simple as that, and it's gonna go um, right where it left off that job, and then continue to round those edges to really make those grains come out. And We'll see what it looks like here. Definitely rounded the engines and also left a mess, but regardless, just going to clean that up really quick. And then here's my finished product. So you can kind of see those rounded edges. It really made that grain just really stand out. Um, any of those little wood hairs you see really would, would easily come off with any kind of sandpaper. Overall, super excited, uh, especially because that tool touch off makes a tool change really quick and easy, and I'm excited to do more complex projects with it. So anyway, thanks for watching and catch you on the next one.